The past months have seen a lot of talk about General Motors and its enigmatic CEO Mary Barra, who has plans to dominate the American EV market. While GM is yet to compete with the big names like Tesla, it is already showing signs that it's going to dominate the EV market soon. In this video, we take a look at GM's secret weapon, its new Altium battery. So how can this new Altium battery turn the tide in GM's favor? Stay tuned and watch. Right now, there is one company that is renowned for its battery technology, and that is Tesla. Tesla has been pouring money into research for improved battery technology for years in order to make EVs more efficient and affordable. However, with GM's new Altium battery, expect to see stiff competition between these two companies in the EV battery segment. GM is committed to making 30 new global EVs by 2025. The company has positioned itself to design, engineer, and produce EVs for every style and price point. To achieve this feat, it is rapidly building up its competitive advantage in batteries, software, vehicle integration, manufacturing, and customer experience. By 2025, GM will spend a whopping $35 billion, which is a 75% increase from the figure it announced before. The goal is to produce more than 1 million EVs per annum by 2025. These will include models like the Silverado EV truck, the Cadillac Lyric, Hummer EV, electric vans, and many more. The secret source to all these EVs is the new Altium battery, which GM has been working on for years. So what makes the Altium battery so special? The first selling point is the cost per kilowatt hour. GM was able to bring it down to about $100 per kilowatt hour. At the battery pack level, Tesla has not been able to achieve this even with its new battery. This price point is very crucial because the battery determines the price of an EV. A $100 per kilowatt hour EVs can start to be priced at about the same as a gas car's. The Altium battery pack costs about 40% lower than those in the Chevrolet Bolt EV. It gets better going forward because GM promises that second generation Altium packs will cost nearly 60% less than the batteries used today. GM also improved the cell design of the Altium battery. To increase the range, Tesla did something similar with its own 4680 battery. However, instead of cylindrical cells used by Tesla, GM is using pouch-style cells. These cells are quite large, measuring 23 by 4 by 0.4 inches. These pair cells package energy more densely than cylinders can. They weigh about 3 pounds each, hold 0.37 kilowatt hours of energy, can be arranged vertically or horizontally to suit space requirement, and are typically bundled into 24 cell modules. The arrangement is such that the Altium battery is easier to recycle and reuse. It also makes it easier for engineers to optimize the vehicle layout. In terms of chemistry, the Altium battery uses nickel, manganese, cobalt and aluminum to cut cobalt use by 70% relative to the Bolt EV's NMC formula. The aluminum also strengthens the electrodes and helps prevent lithium spike formation during fast charging, which can cause problems like short-circuiting a battery. This means the battery has a longer useful life compared to other batteries. There's another feature of the Altium design that allows it to use far less wiring in the battery pack. In fact, it uses 80% less wiring than the battery pack in the Bolt. This feature is wireless battery management. GM will be the first to monitor battery cells wirelessly using Bluetooth-like 2.4 GHz spectrum, slashing cost, weight complexity, warranty problems, and space that would have been required to solder all those wired connections. The wireless connectivity constantly monitors battery health and shares info with the cloud to detect potential issues with certain battery batches, use cases, and so forth. Plus, it enables flash reprogramming when retrofitting new battery chemistries or when repurposing a pack. The Altium battery is a breakthrough, but how many miles can it power a car on a single charge? Each 24-cell Altium battery module can store 8.9 kilowatt hours, so you should not be surprised to see six module packs rated for 50 kilowatt hours usable capacity in the smallest, lightest vehicles. At the same time, a large battery pack with a 200 kilowatt hour capacity can power the GMC Hummer EV. GMC estimates the Hummer would get 328 miles. On a smaller and lighter vehicle, we could easily see over 400 miles. One of the first EVs to be announced to use the Altium battery is the Cadillac. With the 100 kilowatt hour pack, this car should deliver more than 300 miles. The Altium battery also allows for fast charging. Most Altium battery pack will operate at 400 volts, 
making them capable of DC fast charging at up to 250 kilowatts. However, there is a way to go even faster on the Hummer EV. You can virtually wire the two 400 volt packs in series, which will get you an 800 volt system during charging. That should be enough for the car to use 350 kilowatt charges that will add 100 miles in 10 minutes. However, GM points out that switching between 400 and 800 volt operation is a cheaper solution than a dedicated 800 volt system like that used by the Porsche Taycan. The Altium battery is also highly flexible. It can house 6, 8, 10, 12, or up to 24 modules, allowing it to power different kinds of vehicles you will find on GM's lineup. The design engineers can easily arrange the battery pack to optimize the height and length of the vehicle for aerodynamics, aesthetics, comfort, dry feel and storage. The Altium battery is therefore groundbreaking and can change the EV industry forever. What are your thoughts on the new Altium battery? Let us know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications and updates. Thanks for watching.